My name is Woja Adeka in this summary. I'm the fertility scientist at Tabin Fertility and Andrology. I want to explain to us what we mean about obstructive astrospermia. There are two types of astrospermia. Obstructive astrospermia and non-obstructive. Astrospermia means when you go to lab and they do tests for you, they will tell you no sperm cells in your body. There are two causes. One, it could be as a blockage in the sperm dot. From where the sperm is being produced to where it's going to be coming out. That is obstructive. Non-obstructive means it is the test on its own that fails to produce sperm cells. I want to use that diagram here to explain to you what we mean by obstructive astrospermia. Follow me up. Thank you. This is male reproductive organ. You can see it from here. See the penis, sweater, pep, bladder, like sperm is being produced here in the test. They are stored in this place called epididymis. Epididymis is on top of the scrotest. When the sperm cells get to this epididymis, this is where they are stored. They get motility and they get their maturation complete when they are being stayed here. When a man is sexually aroused, the sperm cells will leave this epididymis to this tube called fast difference and they now move through like this. You see this organ called seminal vesicle and prostate. That flu that is coming out when we have sex with our wife, this is the organ that is producing those fluids. Only a small first portion of concentrated sperm cells is coming from here, mixed with the fluid air, and they now pass through this urethra and come out. So if we say a man do, do a similar analysis and there's no sperm cells in their body, there are, could be two reasons. One, maybe that man was born with this no tube called fast difference. Or there's a blockage around this tube. You can see here, which means you can see here that could be a blockage here. So if there's a blockage here on this tube, that means sperm cells will leave this place but won't be able to connect with the flu that is here and mix with the fluid and come out. So, which means testy will be producing sperm cells, but they won't be able to come out to pass this tube and mix with the fluid there and come out as ejaculate that have sperm cells inside. If you have been to the laboratory and they are telling you that you have a low sperm count and you have been treating for three months, six months, one year. I want to tell you there could be a blockage on this fast difference. So where there is a blockage, the small, small sperm cells that is coming out from this blockage, maybe that is what they are seeing and they are telling you that you have a low sperm count. There could be a serious blockage around this tube. If you have been treating low sperm count for more than three or six months, please talk to a right professional. Talk to a professional. They know the right thing to do. They know the right diagnosis to do for you. Because if you have a blockage on these tubes, they know the right thing to do for your wife to get pregnant. Instead of you to move from A to B to C, whereby the age of your wife will not compromise with, with her fertility. So getting pregnant will not become so difficult. Blockage could be on this fast difference. Some men could be born without these tubes. This can account for obstructive astrospermia. My name is Wojwadi Kendi Same. I'm the fertility scientist at Tabin Fertility and Andrology. Till I come your way next time, court is with you. Bye.